Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Dragoon right here on Mistletine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Legend of Dragoon video. This, I believe, is episode 32. Thank you. Thank you so much. Huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern. In the last episode, we arrived here in Cadessa where we took on the optional secret boss, the Scarred Super Virage. Also, another big shout out to the Cowardly Time Lord on YouTube for pointing out that if I had just destroyed the body of the Virage, it never uses its finishing move no matter what. So if you attack its body instead of the head, you'll be just fine. I attack the head because I'm a silly butt and uh, for whatever reason just didn't know that destroying the body means that he doesn't fire the laser at you. So I thought I would fix that mistake right now. There's also something else that I want to show you. We're going to be taking the long path in Cadessa this time because there are two very powerful items that we want to get. I would actually recommend getting these items before you go do the optional boss fight, uh, but it might make it a little too easy for you, so it's up to you. Anyways, in this episode, we're going to go through Cadessa, finish off what we can do, and uh, see what lies next for us. So by using this teleporter, we'll head down to the long path, path A, if you will. Uh, by defeating the optional boss, we unlocked a shorter path, but we don't want to do that because obviously that's not complete. Instead, I want to show you this area here. All of these red sigil seals, whatever, they need to be destroyed or they're going to keep spawning these spinning heads, which are collision based enemies. They will put us into an encounter with them. So we need to run. If you run to the left, you will get into a random encounter or not random encounter, a fixed encounter with these guys. If you run to the right, though, you'll be able to avoid all of the ones that bounce on you. So I wanted to point that out. That's right. This must be. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. The seal for that thingy. We can move on when we destroy them all. We sure can, Miru. I got it. So we just want to run to each of these and uh, just plunge our sword into that bat to destroy them all, which we can keep doing. And this will allow us to avoid all these spinning heads. The thing with these spinning heads is that they do put status afflictions on you, but more annoying than that, they spawn solo. So they're not really worth the experience. And they also just, they, they're just not worth it, man. Uh, they don't drop anything useful, nothing. So I just don't recommend fighting these guys. We want to come up here and, well, bam! Only one remains, my friends. Hopefully, we can get through this without attacking or fighting a single one, which would be very, very cool. Uh, let's hope we can do that. So, we'll just run this way. Yeah, we were able to do it. All of them, cleanly. No battles whatsoever. We are the best. Still dying online. Anyways, <laughs> now that we've cleared all those, I wish... So, one of the encounters that you can get is a spinning head in two pucks. Uh, but I was not able, trust me, I spent a lot of time fighting these. I actually just literally stood at the entrance here over and over and allowed them to bounce on me. And not, I, I probably did like 30 encounters. Not a single one was spinning heads in two, uh, a spinning head in two pucks, which would be a good way to get, uh, the dancer's rings, which I still don't have any, uh, but it, it didn't work out. So we're just moving on. And this will lead us to the only confusing map in the entire place. And I actually kind of regret what I said in the last episode about how this Cadessa was kind of confusing. Because now that I've done it again, I gotta say, it's really not. So right here, we can get one of the best items in the game. This is the repeatable item, the power-up. Yeah. Yeah. It does exactly what it does to all of the people that we fought so far that have actually used it. Uh, so I thought I would point that out first and foremost. So the power up strength increases for three turns. Now it says strength, but what it actually means is your stats increase for three turns, not your speed, but your magic defense, your magic attack, your defense and your attack all increase by 1.5 times. So that is very, very, very powerful uh, for three turns, obviously, and is something that is going to allow us to absolutely dominate the next boss fight. In fact, it's going to turn the next boss fight into what looks easier than some random encounters that we've done in this game, no joke. And a lot of people are afraid of the next boss, but honestly, with this, we're gonna we're gonna teach them what's what. So, anyways, we'll use these to get down here, and then we'll use a little confusing there. I almost ran the wrong way, but we want to go down to this one, which will drop us off here. Now, this looks like you can't get across, but 
If you jump and just keep spamming X, you'll actually jump across before the rocks have time to fall. And we'll be able to get another item here, which is the Mind Crush, which is actually a sword upgrade for darts, which is super cool. I feel like we just got one, but we're able to get another one now. And this one also has the added effect that it can confuse enemies. But look at that. What a nice increase. So we're going to go ahead and obviously equip that on dart. And also, this is a wonderful time to... Well, you know what? We have room. We have one more encounter before we get to the boss area. So why don't we just do that? So we'll drop down here. That's all of the items that we can get here in Kadesa. And there is no Stardust either. Now, I think this is also a pretty good time to... So this is where we need to go. This is going to lead us to... This is where paths A and B, the short path and the long path, actually converge. It'll both... Both paths will bring us to this room right here, which is the big spirally path. If we went the other way, where the scarred super virage was, we would end up at the at the top there. Uh, and if you were to try to get up there without defeating the scarred super virage, there would actually just be a magical barrier there. So you can't actually just walk past there. You can't end up behind the super scarred virage without, without actually doing it that way. Just wanted to point that out. I also wanted to point out that if you were struggling in that room with the spinning heads, a really easy way of dealing with them is just to use a magic sig stone the first chance you can, and then it's it's easy peasy after that, and you'll be able to destroy them no problem. I also wanted to take a moment to show what I've done off screen, which is Dart is now level 28. Uh, Miru is level Dragoon level 3, uh, which I'm not sure if we have saw Kongo get Dragoon level 3 on camera, but he is also a Dragoon level 3. I thought I would point that out. Uh, she is 54 out of 60 with her hammer spin. And Kongol is almost done learning Inferno, which means he's about to learn his final edition, Bone Crush, which is stronger at level 1 than both Pursuit and Inferno at level 5, which is actually crazy. Uh, but we are not going to use Kongol in this fight because we're swapping out Miranda, who is also level 26. And I thought that I would just show what she has equipped right now. Uh, Miru has the Soft Boots War God Sash. Uh, silver vest. Um, she doesn't need the war god sash or whatever, but we're gonna leave that on for now. There's no real reason to take it off because the real carry of this next fight is actually going to be Miranda here, and you can see her equipment, the dancer shoes, and the magical ring actually being super important. Uh, and then trust me, you're gonna see why. So as soon as you're ready for a big boss fight, you're gonna head into this room right here. But before that, I want to show off the final enemy that we can find here in Kadesa, which I have not showed off on screen yet. And these are the fairy enemies, one of the few enemies in the game that's actually light elemental. Uh, and they have about 300 health, so you'll be able to dispose of them very, very quickly. Uh, and they don't, they're not really anything to write home about. They don't drop anything that's super important. Nothing like that. I just wanted to point them out because we haven't actually seen them on camera yet. But that is the final enemy that you can find here in Kadesa. And hey, who knows? Maybe we'll get a dancer's ring from this random encounter. Spoiler alert, we didn't. Anyways, when you're ready for the boss fight, just use this teleporter. And we'll be brought... Hmm. To the resting place of the dragon block staff. Hey, that's what we need. This is the Dragon Block Staff. Nice. It doesn't look very impressive. Can we really constrain the Divine Dragon with this? You can never tell the size of the magical power from the size of the object. The power of this staff alone has been sealing off the Divine Dragon for more than 10,000 years. Hmm. I see. Then when we take this back and deploy our defense of the royal capital, the divine dragon will be no match for us. It won't be as easy as you imagine. The divine dragon is not the same as other dragons. Even with the staff and us dragoons, we will have reason for thanks if we can seal him back in. Is Lloyd taming such a monster? <laughs> Talking about that, I don't think it's possible. The Divine Dragon would never give in. They couldn't kill him either. That's why he was sealed in. It's way beyond Lloyd's ability to deal with. Then it means Lloyd has not taken any action yet. Maybe he cannot act. There is no sign he is going after the next Divine Moon object yet. The Moon object? Y you must have it in Milosezu, don't you? A Divine object with a name starting with Moon? don't want to talk about it. Uh, how come? It's not your business. 
Just focus on how you can bring the staff back now. Uh, well, someone's got to fly up and grab it, so... Okay, I guess. I'm getting it. Nice. Miru always coming in clutch. Whoa! What the heck is this? This, my friends, is the Grand Jewel, the Guardian of the Dragon Block Staff. The thing that is making sure that it is remained here for a very, very long time. Now, I'm going into this fight with Miru and Miranda and trust it's a good call. Uh, but if you aren't using those, I definitely recommend using Albert here uh, because of the power of his uh, Twister Glaive Spear. Uh, hopefully you still have it. You haven't sold it. Uh, because this fight is is kind of challenging, except, you know, I'm going to make it not challenging at all by using a power-up on Miranda right away, which is going to mean that her magic attacks are even stronger, and of course she does have the magical ring. Now, the Grand Jewel is uh, has a bunch of magic, is going to be smacking us with all of the magic that you could possibly imagine. There it goes, it's attacking Miru first. Uh, this thing uses light, earth, or wind magic at max power, which is very, very strong. It also has the ability to decrease your stats by five levels, which is actually wild. And, of course, it is the the Dragon Block staff, so uh, you don't actually want to use Dragoons here. They will, they, will, they will be useless, so you can't really use those. This thing can also heal itself, but we're not going to have to worry about that too much because I honestly think we're going to take it out very, very quickly. In fact, I think you're going to be very surprised how quickly we actually do destroy the Grand Jewel. A lot of people are uh, worried or afraid of this boss because it is historically very hard, but if you have a strong magic user and you went to Lohan and got those spinning gales, we are going to cheese the heck out of this fight by using a powered up Miranda to cast a spinning gale on the earth-based Grand Jewel, which only has 4,500 health, and you just saw us take out almost 1500 of it and Miranda's got another attack right away because we used the speed up from Miru already almost 3000 damage is done to it and it has only hit us once that my friends is how easy this boss fight becomes if you use the right party Miru and Miranda looks like it's actually going to get a second attack off I can't believe it And it's going to go ahead and use the AoE wind-based attack. Which does okay damage, taking Miru into red health. But that's okay because we're going to use another spinning gale from Miranda because she just got basically three turns in a row without anybody else in our party getting it because she does have the dancer shoes equipped as well, making her very fast with that speed up and very strong with that power up. 222% spinning gale for 1440 and goodbye Grand Jewel. See what I mean? It didn't even have a chance to heal itself. Absolutely absurd. That fight was made so easy. 300 gold and 9,000 experience for winning. And of course, we get the Spectral Flash, a magic item that it will drop every single time that we defeat it. And uh, I think we'll also get some nice level ups. Miranda level 27, Miru 27, Rose 26, Albert 26. Nicely done, my friends. That is the Grand Jewel made easy, let me tell you. And there we go. We just acquired the Dragon Block Staff. We didn't know there was a guardian. The ancestor should have told us so. I didn't know that either. Anyway, the Dragon Block Staff is in our hands. Let's go back quickly. We need to mount the defense of Deningrad, so it's time that we go. Wait, though, I need to show you guys this. First of all, we're gonna switch uh, Miranda out of our party. She's a wonderful boss killer. She's not very good against random trash that you see laying around. So we're gonna switch Congo back in. Uh, Miru's looking a little low, but she'll be okay. I have faith. And uh, I, we could also change some of the equipment real quick. Just putting the dancer shoes back on Miru because she deserves them, okay? And I want to show you the uh, what what just happened. So if you look in your goods, we have the dragon blocker. The dragon block staff becomes the dragon blocker in your goods. A staff to confine divine dragon restrains dragons. Thought I would just point that out. It's a little funny that the name actually changes when it gets in there. And that's it for Cadessa. 
we are done here and we can actually take a shortcut to the very entrance you do not have to backtrack they actually supply this little teleporter here which lets us leave no problemo of course we do have to jump down a little thing right here but look at that nice and easy my friends now you can come back to Cadessa at any point uh so don't be don't be afraid of leaving if you don't have any dancers rings or anything if you want to come back and defeat some pucks go ahead and do it uh we're gonna actually just head on out here and uh hopefully not have too bad random encounters oh come on but now we have to make the very long trek back to Deningrad. wait a minute what uh it cannot be is that the divine dragon huh don't be silly it's too early oh no oh that's a big boy oh no didn't grad we gotta run yes we do we gotta get back right away it's no oh, what are we gonna do no oh, we gotta go is it too late are we too late Did you get the dragon block staff? We did, but the divine dragon, I know. I'm teleporting you to Deningrad. Ancestor, it's too much. You don't have power like in the old days, do you? We have no time left to think. Hmm? <sighs> <sighs> Ancestor Blano. I'm fine. It didn't work. Not yet. We believe in Miru and her friends who Miru believes in too. I would like to see the future that Miru and her friends create. Guaraha! Go on, dart! The Wingley's coming in clutch to save the Crystal Palace in Deningrad. Wait a minute. What was that? Look at Deningrad now, man. We're late. We're very, very late. Is... Is this Dinningrad? The Crystal Palace is destroyed. Queen Teresa. Don't be such a laggard. Shayna is in the castle too. So you can talk to people. I know we're in a rush and like we have things to do. I still cannot believe... That this thing could happen. Our house was... Is this a person? Ouch. 
Yeah, no, tell me about it, man. Sacred tree, divine tree, is this your test or is this your judgment? Oh, man. Uh, it was such a pretty city, it was instantly reduced to rubble. It used to be a pretty city a little while ago. Anyways, we need to go to the palace. We need to make sure Shauna and them are okay. I saw a beam fly to the moon from the smashed tower of the castle. I wonder what could have been. I wonder what that ray was. I don't know, my friend. Are you okay? Uh, I'm barely living. Uh, it hurts. Hello? Oh, divine tree, what do you desire from us? Divine tree. What is over is over. We have to think about the future. Okay. Oh, man. What I was most afraid of was... I couldn't do anything after all. Seti, Luana, wake up! Uh, Sister Miranda. Sister Miranda, are we alive? Good. It seems you are not injured either. I, I was scared. Stop crying. The divine dragon is gone and we will take care of it. Do you, did you get the dragon block staff? Yes, we got it. Now we can prepare for the next raid. What do you mean, next? The psyche that the divine dragon sent towards the crystal palace was a black, bottomless mass of hate. There must be a next. Hmm. I won't let him. What about Queen Teresa? Is Queen Teresa safe? We don't know. Hey, wake up! Huh? Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Sister Miranda. Take care of these two. Don't worry. Queen Teresa is safe. Wink is fine, too. Everything is fine, thanks to her. Thanks to her? Are you alright? We are fine. Sister Miranda went upstairs. What about Shauna? She should be upstairs, too. Hmm. Please hurry and meet Miss Shauna. We can manage for ourselves. Please take care of Queen Teresa. I know some medical stuff. Let Just please trust me to take care of Sister Luana and Sister Seti. Sister Miranda, I'm glad you are safe. What does this guy say? Our royal palace instantly turned into this. How horrible. We gotta go, man. We gotta go. What was once a beautiful, beautiful place is now just destroyed. Suddenly, the castle quaked, and then in the next moment, everything started to fall on us. The ceiling, walls, and pillars. It was a major collapse, so how were we able to get by with just a few scratches? It's a very good point. Looks like we can't use the stairs. Instead, we have to use this way here. Sister Wink, we saw her back in Danau. I'm fine. Sister Miranda gave me treatment. Hmm. Shauna's room! Uh, wait. Miss Shauna's alive. She must be upstairs with Queen Teresa. What? I got it. That's weird. So Sister Wink is the one in Denial that Lloyd protected from the bandits, if you remember. Miss Shauna's fine. She should be in the chamber of the Queen. It easily smashed the Crystal Palace. What an attacking power it has. Are we gonna have to fight that thing? Wow! What is this light? What is going on? I don't know. When I came here, it was already like this. Shauna! Queen Teresa, where are you? Shauna! Queen Teresa! Start? It's me. Can you understand? Dart, everybody, you're safe. How about Queen Teresa? Uh, Queen Teresa. Miranda? Don't worry, Queen Teresa's safe. I'm relieved. I couldn't live if something happened to Queen Teresa. I'm relieved. I'm really, really relieved. 
You cannot call Sedia a crybaby anymore. I don't care. Please let me cry for now, just for now. Poor Miranda. Everything has calmed down, anyhow. Welcome back. And no one was lost. Fortunately, the damage to the people seems to be minimal. I assume we had the blessing of the Divine Tree. What was that light? It was as if it was protecting Queen Teresa and Shauna. Yeah, the light was... What was it? What happened? Shauna? Are you feeling all right? Not really, but I cannot stand still. I see. It seems that all we can do is trust them and wait. Yes, your majesty. Oh! What is happening? Shauna just just knew what to do. What is that? Oh, this must be a miracle. Shauna, you brought us a miracle. My sisters were guarded by the same light as well. Everyone was saved by you. But I don't know anything about this power. This power is forcing Dart to face danger and I, I harm people. The people in Salis, too. It was my fault. That's not true. It was Dole who did that. Who am I? Oh, poor Shauna. She passed out. It was my fault. I didn't know anything and I told her too much. No. Where are you going? To the Mountain of Mortal Dragon. Are you leaving Shauna like that? I'll come back after I defeat the Divine Dragon. Miranda, could you take care of Shauna? Are you telling me to stay here? The Divine Dragon is not the only monster in the Mount Mountain of Mortal Dragon. You are a sacred sister of this country. There is no obligation for you to come with us. Did you forget... I am one of the Dragoons, the same as you. I have no intention to withdraw from this battle. Besides, Shauna told me, please take care of the rest. I intend to keep that promise. We have reached an agreement. Everyone, I am counting on you. Yes, Your Majesty. Please trust us. Wow. Very cool. Well, at least there's still an inn. That's a plus side, even if it's filled with bricks and probably dust, boarded up windows. I'll bring everybody here. Did the two of you have enough alone time? We can wait outside longer if you want. <laughs> Ah, I didn't know you could be sensible, Miru. <laughs> of course. I learned how to care for others from them. Nice, Miru. Mm, we gotta get going. We will be back soon. Are you all right? I cannot believe your timing. That is no way to talk to a friend. Hmm. I haven't seen your power as a dragoon, have I? Are you saying you don't trust me? Please stop. Miranda's fine. She can do better than me. I hope so. Damn, Rose. That was cold, girl. Is she like that all the time? Actually, Rose is concerned about me. 
What a clumsy woman. Best line from Miranda. Pongo is leaving. You rest. Good for you. I'm leaving. Brendos, let's go to the Mountain Dragon Tomb. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I thought, I thought it was y'all. Anyways, uh, we can head back in here because now that the Crystal Palace in Dinengrad has been destroyed, not only is there more stuff to do and talk to you, you girls stop saying such silly things. We can now get Stardust, actually. I wonder if the dragon will come again. Probably. If the dragon comes again, we'll be goners for sure, but it won't because we'll take it out. That dragon's going to destroy all the cities that belong to humans. Yeah, potentially. You don't know. I don't know. You don't know. I'm responsible for guarding here. Good. Keep Shauna safe, man. She's in deep sleep. I'll leave her alone. All right. So if we head upstairs in the inn now, this is actually where the clinic is. The clinic has now moved and it has relocated uh, here to this little makeshift area. But if we check this little thing over here, this, uh, what is this? A wire spool thing? I don't know. What is this? A Stardust. That is one of five that we can actually find now in Dinengrad, which is pretty cool. It was 20 years ago. We had a clinic here. The owner of the hotel kept things up. Oh, nice. So it's not a makeshift. It's actually been here for 20 years. And then, wow, very, very cool. So we don't really need any healing or anything like that. Uh, but that is the first of, uh, of, of, five stardust that we can now get there's no items in Dinengrad. it's not like that dislodged the attack did not like dislodge any items i guess it kind of just dislodged stardust i wonder what the ray was that flew over so they're gonna say the same stuff that they said when we came through here so we don't actually have to like talk to them or anything but we can go back into the palace because there are two stardust that we can actually get here so the first one is on the second screen of the Crystal Palace. So, again, we'll avoid this. This poor place, man. Absolutely dismantled. It's too bad. Love, love this palace. And and now it's just gone. In one attack. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it looked to me like... Like the, the dragon purposely aimed for the palace. So, right over here, we can't get into the room that used to be here. But this, if we look at this crystal, this is not a crystal. It is another Stardust, the second one that we can find in Dinengrad. And then if we head up to the throne room, there's actually yet another Stardust that we can find up here. Which, if we go look over here where the sigil was, what is this? Our third Stardust. I feel an enormous whirlwind from the Dragon Block Staff. It's a tornado that absorbs everything. With the power of the Dragon Block Staff, indeed, we will be able to seal the power of the Divine Dragon. You can defeat the Divine Dragon for sure, because we will pray for you. Okay, I don't know if that's how that works, but... It is too great a task for a mere human to vanquish the Divine Dragon. I know it, but I will still go to the Mountain of Mortal Dragon. W Wink, why don't you... Why don't you just hang out here? Once the castle is settled down, I will go to the Mountain of Mortal Dragon with the Knighthood. I will be of help to you. No, just relax. We borrowed the power of the Winglies. The only thing left is to vanquish the Divine Dragon. Of course, that is the most difficult part. No matter what, we have to vanquish the Divine Dragon. I am counting on you. As you should, because we will do such things. So, now we have to head back to the town entrance for our final two Stardust. And also, somebody else that we can uh, potentially meet and get something very, very cool. After this, we will have 45 of 50 total Stardust in the game. Yeah. That's right. After we get all the Stardust from this town, there are only five left in the entire game. So I think that lets you know things are starting to wind down a little bit here. Well, I guess they're reaching a climax, and then they're going to... You you know what? Y you know, Y'all know, know what I mean, right? I don't need to explain it. Y'all, you get it. Anyways, so back on this map, you can actually see there's a, a person here that we talked to before that said, Ouch. Very, very interesting. So if we look at these mats that are here, we can actually see that there's some weapons and shields and stuff like that. Very cool. It says, please help yourself. Then I'll take this one. Oh, look at that. A Stardust. Now, 
there's also another Stardust in front of right here. Please help your. It says, please help yourself. Then I'll take this one. It's kind of weird because it's very touchy. But yeah, like basically on the sword here is one of them. And then on this like back corner here is another one. So it's it's very specific how you have to stand and talk to those things. But good timing because look who is sitting right here talking to this person that just says, ouch, when you talk to them. I'm busy taking care of casualties. Oh, it's you folks. This is awful. Yes, it is. It's not the time to discuss Stardust. I want to collect him as soon as possible and go back to my village, but I cannot leave these people like this. I'll stay here for a while. Uh, uh, excuse me. His name? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. His name is Casualty? Oops, sorry. Again, when you find some, please give them to me, okay? Wait, I thought we weren't talking about it. So this guy's name is actually Casualty. So when she, when Martel says that she's taking care of casualties, she's literally, that's his name. <laughs> It's hard to find Stardust, isn't it? I guess I knew it, though. How about you? Yeah. Wait. I got a, I got 10 Stardust to give you. Thanks. Thanks a million. In return, take this. It's the rare thing I promised you. And we'll get the Rainbow Earring for turning in 40 Stardust, which means the next reward is the final reward of 50, which is pretty absurd. Uh, we don't actually have any to give her. I don't know why I accidentally talked to her again. It was really funny. We just got out of there. We went over. Stop it. All right. <laughs> all right, now I can show you the rainbow earring. The rainbow earring avoids all abnormal statuses. Yup, that's right, all of them. It acts like a ribbon, you know? A, like, like it just completely gets rid of any status affliction. Super, super good. Uh, there are better things that we will be using, but it's still a unique item that we can get right now by talking to her and turning in all of the Stardust that we've collected. Now, we also have the weapon shop over here that does not have any new inventory whatsoever, uh, but I thought I would just point it out. If you're still missing things, you want to get some, some Stardust boots or, or whatever, uh, you can grab some of these things now. D Stone Am Ar uh, the Armor of Legend, I guess, if you have almost, almost 10,000 golds or, you know, whatever. And we're going to actually buy some spark nets now. These spark nets are going to be pretty useful. I'm going to buy four of these. Actually, let's go ahead and buy five. So we have five spark nets, uh, which are actually pretty useful for the next boss fight, surprisingly, because typically uh, they're not the greatest. But in this particular case, uh, they'll do us just fine because there's no resistance to it. There's no weakness to it, but there's no resistance to it either. So that's going to be a, a pretty good, a pretty good thing to have for the next boss fight. Anyways, now that we're done in Dinningrad, we want to head to the Evergreen Forest, and we're going to be taking a new exit this time, one that leads to the Mountain of Mortal Dragon. Again, super easy to get to because Evergreen Forest, again, once you figure out the layout, it's super, super easy. No problema whatsoever. Uh, and that is right where that knight is standing that we haven't been able to go to th this entire time. We can head up here and... Oh, I knew I was going to get one. The monster was headed in the direction of Dinengrad and then came back to the Mountain of Mortal Dragon. Before the Divine Dragon left, did anybody pass through here? No, sir. No one, sir. We didn't even let a mouse pass, sir. Unless they can fly like that monster. Hmm, gotcha. Stay on guard here. We're off to defeat the monster. Yes, ma'am. Good luck. Hey, thank you so much. And now we can finally get this chest that's just sitting here hanging out. And that is a mine. A mine? That's it? This entire time you've been sitting there looking at it. You jerks. Good luck. Thank you so much. Anyways, this is the exit to the Mountain of Mortal Dragon. So that means that we've taken every exit now, finally, out of Evergreen Forest. And before us, right here, lies a random encounter. Waste of my time. Anyways, this right here, this big volcano, is the Mountain of Mortal Dragon, which means, you guessed it, that is the end of today's episode. I'm actually heading back to Cadessa to try to farm out some dancer's rings. So, wish me some luck. Hopefully, I get those quickly. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Dragoon. I'm so glad that the the Grand Jewel fight went as clean as I knew it was going to. I made that fight look so easy because it really, really is if you have the right party. Which, again, the right party, you know, it's 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 Miru and Miranda, okay? 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Legend of Dragoon. And a huge shout out to those of you watching the premieres every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Sincerely appreciate you guys. And I've been having a lot of fun talking to you on chat. If you want to check me out live on stream, you can head on over to twitch.tv slash online. Throw me a follow. We're live every Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 9, 9 a.m. Eastern. Uh, and I'd love to see you guys over in chat. So let me know that you're from the YouTube videos and, uh, and definitely say hi. Thank you again for watching. And remember, never give up, never surrender to the Grand Jewel.